All right, so what we're going to do tonight um, is in the last video I rambled like a crazy person, and then I decided to actually think about it. So uh, I've decided to make two new videos on the same letter or the same email that I've read in the, uh, in the uh, video before. So it might make more sense if you go and read the letter, and then uh, I'll be referencing that here. So uh, the first video is right here. Um, what if you know masculine gay is not really gay? So my thinking on it goes this way. Uh, in chapter three, I write about the science of sexual orientation. And what science says about gays is that, they're, is that they are gender shifted towards the feminine. Uh, and you acknowledge this in your uh, response. You say, I'm willing to grant you that on average self-identified gay men are shifted towards what you're calling effeminacy. So the point is gays tend to be, uh, on, uh, tend to be more on the effeminate side of things. So therefore, gay is not just a sexual orientation, it's also a gender. The problem then is, if it's, if it's sexuality plus effeminacy, what about the genuinely masculine gays? Um, if you define gay to be a gender, then obviously they can't be part of that group, okay? Now, one argument that you could make, and you didn't, but I suppose somebody could say is, well, what if the attraction to men is itself feminine if there's no other characteristics present? Uh, so just the mere attraction to men is feminine because women are attracted to men. But if there's no other feminine characteristics, that attraction itself is still going to be feminine. Eh, it's kind of ex post facto begging the question. Uh, and it's not, it's not a very satisfactory response because... You know, as you say, as you also say um, in, in the on the second page of your response, uh, most masculine gay guys are anchored of the same pool of masculinity as their straight counterparts. So it seems like they just can't be part of the gay category. And what I would say about that is that uh, most, if most gay men are feminine, which they tend to be, and therefore masculine gay men are not part of that category. Uh, we should look at Guerrero, what I wrote in the rest of the book, and realize that gay is not the only way to be attracted to other men. And in fact, uh, in, in the ancient world, most men were attracted to other men. So what I would be saying is that masculine gays aren't really gay, but they get grouped in with the gays because in our culture, so far, because nobody knows about Guerrero, the only way to be masculine or the only way to be attracted to other men is to be gay. So they just kind of get grouped in, even though we forget that we just said, wait a second, gays are sort of feminine. So masculine gays could very well be not gay at all, because gay is not the only way to be attracted to other men.